we're in the midst of the biggest cost of living crisis in a generation. It's what people feel. Go around the country, go to towns, villages, cities, is what, it's what people say. Whether it's people not being able to afford the weekly shop, worried about their gas and electric bill, saying, look, I've always thought of myself as reasonably well off, but I'm really having trouble making ends meet. You know, somebody said to me the other day, I just can't afford this government. Surely we can do better than this as a country. And I think people are hurting, people are wanting us to do better. People are thinking, look, you know, I've made the sacrifices. Well, where's the benefit? The government keeps telling me that everything's fixed. It doesn't seem fixed for me. And they need a government, they need a prime minister. And that's the prime minister I'll be, who will actually wake up each morning and think, how do we make life easier for ordinary families? Never mind the obstacles, never mind the powerful interests that are in the way. We're willing to take them on. We're willing to act to help ordinary families. You're never going to get that from David Cameron. The Tories want to change the conversation from the cost of living crisis. You know, they, they won't do anything but the cost of living crisis. Now, inherent in their vision is not a solution to the cost of living crisis, but the problem. And I have a much, much more optimistic vision about what the country can achieve. People don't want the earth. They prefer some very specific promises, specific things that a government will do, whether it's freezing energy bills or taking on the, the payday lenders or tackling issues around childcare, which lots of working parents face. All of this you know, is adding up to a program for how we can change things. And, and, and it's clearly costed and it's credible and, and it's real. We're going to show to people in 2014 how by standing up for the right people, being willing to take on the powerful interests, being willing to make big changes in our economy, we can deal with the cost of living crisis both now and in the future and actually earn and grow our way to a higher standard of living for people. And I think that matters so much to people. It matters so much to people now because they're feeling that they can't afford to pay their gas bill or you know, do the weekly shop. And it matters so much in the future because so many people are thinking, well, what future is there in this country for, for my kids, for my son or daughter, my nieces and nephews? You know, how are we going to make a difference to them? We're facing a once-in-a-generation cost-of-living crisis, and we're going to be relentlessly focused on that in 2014. I'm going to be making decisions on your behalf. Every morning I get up, I'm going to be thinking about you. How do I make your life better, your life easier? No easy answers, not an easy life, but how do we tip the balance a bit towards hope and away from the struggles that you're facing?